Hello everyone, we hope you are doing well, and welcome to Historic Adventures. Today, we are taking you on a journey to Montgomery Castle. In the heart of Powys, nestled amidst the undulating landscapes of Mid Wales, stands Montgomery Castle, a formidable stone bastion overlooking the town of Montgomery. Its ancient walls bear witness to centuries of strife and conquest, marking it as one of the many bastions erected by the Normans along the contested borderlands between Wales and England. Throughout the tumultuous epochs of the Welsh marches, Montgomery Castle's strategic significance was undeniable, leading to its repeated destruction and subsequent reconstruction. This cycle persisted until the early 14th century, a period marked by relative tranquility as the region saw a semblance of pacification. However, the spectre of conflict returned during the First English Civil War, culminating in the fateful clash of arms on the 17th of September 1644 marking the castle grounds as the site of Wales's largest battle. Subsequent to the turmoil of the Second English Civil War in 1649, the decision was made to slight the walls, ensuring the castle's incapacity for future military utility. The origins, Mott and Bailey, is now known as Hen Domen, once a mighty Motta and Bailey stronghold known in the annals of history. Commissioned by the formidable Roger de Montgomery, Earl of Shrewsbury, this fortress rose between the years 1071 and 1074, a testament to Norman ambition in the Welsh marches. Yet, its fate was not one of unchallenged dominion. In 1093, the valiant Prince Cadogan ap Bledin and his brothers wrested control of its ramparts, marking a bold chapter of defiance against Norman rule the tumultuous tides of power continued to shape Hendoman's destiny. Following the rebellion of Robert of Bellamy in 1102, the castle passed into the hands of Baldwin de Boulaire, a name enshrined in the Welsh tongue as Trefaldwin, Baldwin's town. The lineage of the de Boulaire, later known as the Baudler family, saw the castle's stewardship until the year 1214. It was then that the formidable Prince Llewellyn the great scion of the royal house of Aberfraw laid siege to its walls, consigning it to ruin and reshaping the course of regional power dynamics. The grand saga of Montgomery Castle's transformation from wood to stone unfolded in the late summer of 1223, a pivotal moment coinciding with the 16th birthday of Henry III of England. Situated a mile to the southeast of its original location, the castle's rebirth was orchestrated by the skilled hand of Hubert de Burgh, renowned architect of fortresses across the Welsh marches, including Skenfrith Castle, Grossmont Castle, and White Castle. Between 1223 and 1228, a symphony of masonry echoed through the hills as skilled artisans toiled ceaselessly, crafting the formidable inner ward or donjon, atop a commanding rock overlooking the nascent town of Montgomery. The fruits of their labour manifested in the form of a stout gatehouse, flanked by two imposing D-shaped towers, and a labyrinthine array of apartments enveloping the inner ward's curtain wall. The castle's fortifications grew more formidable in response to challenges from defiant Welsh princes. In 1228, an audacious assault led by Prince Llewellyn the Great was repelled, prompting the addition of the middle and outer wards to bolster defences. However, the fires of conflict raged anew in 1233, leaving the well tower damaged and in need of extensive repairs and re-roofing, a testament to the relentless struggle for dominance in the Welsh marches. In the annals of Welsh history, Montgomery shines as a beacon of ancient privilege and pivotal events. Bestowed with a royal charter in the auspicious year of 1227, it proudly claims the mantle of Wales's oldest borough, 
a testament to its enduring significance. The echoes of power and diplomacy resonated within its walls, reaching a crescendo in 1267 when Montgomery played host to the pivotal negotiations for the Treaty of Montgomery. It was within these hallowed confines that Henry III extended the prestigious title of Prince of Wales to Llewellyn ap Gruffydd, shaping the course of Welsh sovereignty for generations to come. However, the winds of fortune are fickle, and in December of 1282, Montgomery Castle bore witness to a stark reversal of fate. Its garrison, stalwarts of English authority, joined the ranks of an army that clashed with and ultimately vanquished Llewellyn ap Gruffydd at the fateful Battle of Orwin Bridge, forever altering the landscape of Welsh governance and marking a sombre chapter in Montgomery's storied past. In the annals of Montgomery's storied past lies a chapter wrought with fiery conflict and resilient fortitude. In the tumultuous year of 1402, the ramparts of this walled town bore witness to the thunderous onslaught of Owain Glyndwa's forces, whose ferocity knew no bounds. The town endured a harrowing siege, its streets awash with the chaos of war as flames licked at its time-worn structures, leaving naught but ash and memory in their wake. Yet, amidst the tempest of destruction, a beacon of defiance shone brightly from Montgomery Castle. Defenders rallied to its stout walls, their valour and determination proving indomitable against the relentless tide of invasion. Though the town lay in ruins, the castle stood resolute, a testament to the unwavering spirit of its defenders. For decades thereafter, Montgomery lay in desolation, a silent sentinel amidst the scars of conflict. It wasn't until the early 17th century that whispers of renewal began to stir, heralding a new dawn for this once proud bastion of resilience and fortitude. As the tempest of the First English Civil War swept across the land in August of 1642, the winds of allegiance blew fiercely through the hills and vales of mid Wales. Here, amidst the verdant landscapes, Montgomery Castle stood as a bastion of royalist fervour, its walls manned by the venerable Lord Herbert of Cherbury in staunch support of King Charles I. The turning tides of war, however, knew no allegiance but to victory. In September of 1644, the castle's defences yielded to the relentless advance of parliamentarian forces under the command of Sir Thomas Middleton and Thomas Mitton. The capitulation of Lord Herbert marked a significant milestone, heralding the castle's occupation by Parliament and a pivotal moment in the war's Welsh theatre. But the echoes of conflict refused to fade into silence. On the 18th of September, Royalist forces launched a daring bid to reclaim Montgomery Castle, only to be met with resolute opposition in what would become the defining clash of arms in Welsh soil during the war. The resounding defeat suffered by the Royalists stood as a testament to Parliament's growing strength and resolve. Yet, the dance of loyalties proved as fickle as fortune herself. In a twist of fate emblematic of the era's shifting alliances, Sir John Price, once a staunch parliamentarian governor, crossed the ideological divide in May of 1645, reaffirming the enduring turbulence and intrigue that defined this tumultuous chapter in Montgomery's storied history. Amidst the turbulent currents of the 1648 Second English Civil War, the land of Wales once again became a theatre of strife and upheaval. In the wake of this renewed conflict, the sturdy walls of Montgomery Castle bore witness to a sombre decree enacted by Parliament in June of 1649. Despite the fervent opposition voiced by the second Lord Herbert, who had ascended to his father's title in the throes of war in 1648, the castle's fortifications were systematically dismantled as part of a sweeping policy enacted across England and Wales. The rationale behind this drastic measure lay in the desire to preemptively neutralize potential strongholds, thereby reducing the need for extensive garrisons and the associated costs of maintenance and defence. Thus, Montgomery Castle, 
once a symbol of power and privilege, was reduced to ruins, its stones echoing with the fading whispers of a bygone era. The legacy of the Herbert lineage, intertwined with the castle's history, met its denouement with the passing of the second Lord Herbert. His final resting place, nestled within the shadow of Montgomery, serves as a poignant reminder of the shifting sands of power and the inexorable march of time that swept across the Welsh countryside during this era of tumultuous change. Today, the site is managed by Cadwa. For centuries, locals have whispered about the restless spirits that roam these ancient stones. The castle's turbulent history, marked by battles and betrayals, has left an indelible imprint on its walls and corridors. Visitors have reported strange whispers echoing through empty chambers, footsteps echoing in the dead of night when no living soul treads these paths. Some claim to have glimpsed shadowy figures darting among the ruins, their presence felt but never fully seen. Archaeologists and historians have uncovered artifacts that hint at forgotten rituals and arcane practices, raising questions about the true nature of the forces that dwell within these walls. Could the echoes of the past be reaching out to the present, seeking to make their stories known once more? Brave souls have dared to investigate the mysteries of Montgomery Castle, delving into its haunted depths, armed with cameras, EMF meters, and courage forged in the face of the unknown. But even the most skeptical among them have left with tales that defy rational explanation. To reach Montgomery Castle, travelers can embark on a scenic adventure through the rolling hills and verdant valleys of Wales, immersing themselves in the beauty and tranquility of the countryside along the way. For those arriving by car, the castle is conveniently accessible via well-maintained roads with ample parking available nearby. Visitors can also opt for guided tours or public transportation options, such as buses or trains, which offer a relaxing and immersive journey through Wales's enchanting landscapes. Upon arrival, visitors are greeted by the imposing yet captivating ruins of Montgomery Castle, inviting exploration and discovery. The castle's rich history and architectural marvels provide a glimpse into Wales's medieval past, making it a must-visit destination for history enthusiasts and adventurers alike. Guided tours led by knowledgeable experts offer insights into the castle's storied past, from its strategic importance during battles to the daily lives of its inhabitants centuries ago. Interactive exhibits and educational displays further enhance the visitor experience, bringing history to life in engaging ways. Whether you seek historical intrigue, natural beauty, or simply a peaceful retreat in the heart of Wales, Montgomery Castle promises an unforgettable experience for all who venture to its ancient gates. Thank you for joining us on this historic visit to Montgomery Castle. We hope you found this video informative and enjoyable. Don't forget to drop us a comment, give us a like, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. You can also find our social media links in the description below. See you on the next adventure.